To enter the configuration mode on the remote controller, you have to make sure that you put this part, which is called the drop, against the display on the remote controller. You can do it this way or this way. You have to press on it while have it touching this part. You'll begin to blink and every sub menu will progressively light up. The moment you want to access the sub menu, you have to press on the drop again. Let's do it again. This first one is for the sink with the board, second one for maximum power, third one for the ramp, and fourth to reset it to factory settings. In this case, we want to synchronize the remote controller with the board. So we proceed, we press and wait, we press again to access, then when you have this light, you have to introduce the battery. When you introduce it, it will light up at a higher pace, indicating that the board has been successfully synchronized with the controller.